hello you guys welcome and welcome back to the underground honey we're gonna get into another reading to see what you need to know regarding the person who is interested in you and what their hidden feelings are when it comes to love this could be somebody who you're interested in who's interested in you whose energy you're in or who's in your energy regardless take it how it resonates you guys be sure to like the video subscribe put the purple hearts in the comments if it's resonating or any of your favorite color hearts you guys engage with the content because it's a great way to help support the channel for free and if you want to book a personal reading and talk about your specific situation now is the time honey they're on sale five percent off the code is below and if you would like to donate or contribute monetarily to the channel, please use the PayPal or Zelle information below, you guys. Thank you all so much for being here. Let us see, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, for the collective. When it comes to who is in their energy, who wants to say things to them that doesn't say things. This is a person who is not really expressing, like their true feelings to you what's really going on what is really going on when it comes to who's interested in the collective what's really going on okay you don't know how hard it was to let you go wow we need to let each other go Ooh. so this could be somebody who feels like you guys need to let each other go um but it was really hard for them to let you go or they're realizing that they have to let you go and they're saying, well, we need to let each other go. But I feel like that's kind of like <laughs> a front. I don't react when people mention you. Exactly. That's a front. So this person is getting asked about you by other people. They're like, oh, where's Collective? Where are they at? And people are looking for you when they see this person, but they don't see you. So it's like, oh, how is, how is so-and-so doing? And they're like not saying anything or they just don't respond. Or they'd be like, what? Huh? Like they didn't hear the question. And they're like, no, we need to let each other go. No, I feel like collective y'all let go of this person and they know that you're not coming back. So they know that they got to let go of you. <laughs> and that's why it was so hard. What else? Oh, wow. I feel you, even though we are apart. And then we have, you were the best thing in my life. Jeez. So they still feel this connection to you. That's why it's so hard for them to let you go oh my god and again we need to let each other go stop they need to let you go i hid who i really am from you so this person really didn't show you their true self they tried to hide their true self from you so that you didn't see what was going on but i feel like you saw it anyway because if you didn't see it then you wouldn't have left right now this could also be somebody who tried to front like they were so big and bad and hard like they didn't have feelings because that's kind of how they they're giving their energy is given i don't have feelings when they really do and they hid who they really are from you so it means more than likely they probably ooh, they probably hid these real feelings that they had for you i'm jealous self-love i know who you are to me i feel guilty i'm working on myself be expecting my call at the bottom child and life partner mm. they're jealous i feel like they're jealous because they know you love yourself more than you love them like basically you chose yourself over over them and they feel guilty that they even asked you to choose them over yourself or they feel guilty that they acted in a way where they were trying to make you feel like you had to choose between yourself and them you get what i'm saying yeah but they're working on it and they know who you are to them interesting they know what this connection means i feel like they're starting to understand what this connection means wow but be expecting my call they definitely want to reach out child so let's see what's going on on the surface with this connection what is going on on the surface spirit when it comes to the collective 
And this person coming up in this reading. Because it's hard. I feel like they're having a hard time, child. But they're trying to act like they're not. Mm -hmm. What's going on on the surface? When it comes to this person's feelings towards the collective, what's going on on the surface? Four of Wands reverse. I feel like they're unstable. Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords. What's going on with, with this person's feelings on the surface towards the collective? King of Swords, they're being trying to be cold. Oh, I don't want this relationship. Five of Cups, Tower, yeah, but they're emotionally having a breakdown. Yep, Ace of Cups. <laughs> They're trying to look at this logically. I feel like this person is also like focusing on themselves, self-love. They're trying to, this Ace of Cups could be self-love. They could even be trying to find someone new or they're trying to just be single right now, not really look for love, focus on themselves. But look, the Tower card, they're trying to move on from this breakup on the surface. But I saw the five of cups with the tower when the king of swords come out, came out. So I'm just going to pick four cards for what's underneath the surface spirit. What's underneath the surface when it comes to this person's feelings towards the collective. One, two, three, four. That fourth one was hard to come out. Ooh, but you do have a page of swords and a strain. <laughs> they are investigating still. They're still looking in on you trying to see what's going on. Oh my goodness. They're watching you, but they're holding back. They're watching from afar. What's this four of wands reverse when it comes to what's on the surface? What's this four of wands reverse when it comes to what's on the surface? The Six of Swords, yeah. They're they're trying to make it seem like they're moving on from this connection. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it seem like they're moving on. And yes, while they know it's not easy, they, they have to move on. It's time. They have to let go of whatever they feel like they invested and try to create something new somewhere else. I also feel like there could be financial instability. This person may be moving or relocating when it comes to their home. Or there's like some lack of stability, like they don't have a solid place to live. Maybe they live in a hotel. Maybe they live with friends or family or somebody. But I feel like this is somebody who doesn't have a stable place to live or they're in a transitional place period when it comes to like their living situation what else is the six of swords with this four of wands reversed yeah the seven of pentacles they have not started a new relationship though but on the surface is because they're trying to say that they need to heal or they need to love themselves but really it's because they haven't moved on emotionally from the connection that you had with them judgment and the knight of pentacles yeah that's the reason why it's obvious something is obvious they don't want to be with anybody else but you wow <laughs> that's interesting y'all be sure to hit the like button that's what this is. That's why they haven't moved on. Like, if you haven't seen this person date other people, it's because they really haven't moved on from you yet. That's crazy. There's the Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you know this intuitively. What's this King of Swords? They're trying to be all hard on the surface. Yeah, they're trying to, like look like they don't have any feelings but they really do they're almost drowning in them the lovers and the five of cups i'm telling you they've made a choice to cut off their emotions from this situation 
because there's too much sadness and loss and regrets that they feel. And it's, and it's like they're choosing to be cold or act like they don't care. They don't want love. I don't want love. I'm, I'm above love. Like, all right. King of Cups and the King of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. They're, they're, they're the type to say, oh, this is my time to be single. Let me be single. That's what I felt like this Ace of Cups was. It's like this person is saying, you know, they need to work on themselves. But really, they're jealous and they feel guilty about how things happen. And they know who, who you are to them. So it's, it feels like they know that you are somebody very important to them. I'm working on myself, self-love, all this type of stuff. But I think they're just doing that as a front. Six of Wands and the Queen of Cups. They see you as being successful, having a lot of opportunities, a match, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. But y'all are not in that energy anymore. It's like they see you successfully getting these new opportunities and they kind of have to turn their back because they, it makes them sad to see that. But that's what's going on on the surface. It's like they're acting like they're paying attention to new opportunities or maybe finding new people or like waiting for the right person to come along. And they're using the excuse of like self-development to hide the fact that they still have these feelings for you and that it's really like overwhelming that's what it feels like okay what's the ace of cups the magician and the moon yeah manipulating emotions or they're trying to control their emotions or hide their emotions i feel like it's hidden emotions i feel like it's controlling emotions and i feel like it's hiding emotions so I feel like they're trying to manipulate how they're being viewed by other people. The Empress and the Page of Cups. This could be to their family, to their mother, to their children. They're trying to act like they don't feel these things. There could be a baby here or a child or someone's pregnant. Or there was a new child. You might have had a baby after you left this person. Maybe you're in another relationship. And they just never moved on. They they all up in your energy though. Watching you. You are the only person this person wants. And even if you don't have a child together. Or you never had a child after this relationship. I feel like they wanted that with you. Or they wanted another child with you if you already have one. It's like there's something about either you having a child and it hurt them emotionally because you moved on. Or they wanted to have a child and you guys never did. Or you couldn't. Or it's like they're hiding their feelings from their mother, their family, their children. Okay. So what's hidden under the surface? Okay. The Knight of Pentacles, this person's feeling the Empress, the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Yeah. They're not telling you what they really want to do. They're holding this back. They're thinking about, they're thinking about these feelings. They're thinking about coming forward with these feelings, presenting you with these feelings or emotions or sending you a message. They plan on sending you a message for some of you guys. And the Empress is here now. This is somebody who I feel like is also afraid to take action towards you, even though you're what they really want. Like you're, ooh, that was crazy because at the same time as whatever that was in my bathroom fell down, the cards, I hit the cards. I don't even remember what I just said. That's for y'all then. That's crazy. One of the cats, it's one of the cats knocking stuff down. Uh, Snowflake, is that you, ma'am? I see your tail. What's the Knight of Pentacles? The Ten of Wands. They're burdened. 
Like, this is a heavy burden. Holding on to these emotions. I feel like this person is also working a lot because they're financially unstable. There's something about them waiting on money to come in so they can move or relocate or so that they can take some type of action. I feel like they've been holding on to this desire to like want to be, be with you for a long time. What's this Ten of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles? The High Priestess. Yeah, this is secret like stress or burden or pain that this person is in. I feel like there's neck pain, back pain. They're hiding this. The Sun card and the Justice. <sighs> but I feel like you know intuitively or you feel it intuitively. I don't know. Now, it does feel like th this is what they're hiding. Like, this is the emotions that they feel under the surface. So, they're, they're working on a way to, like, make this right. I feel like this person is strategizing or working on something that they feel like you would really like. And they've been working on it for a long time. Now, this could be you. I don't know why I said you. I meant them. This could be them. Like they're working on themselves. Right? Because the card says I'm working on myself. So I feel like they could be working on becoming more stable financially. They could be working on becoming more emotionally aware. And they're secretly really happy about this because they know you're going to be happy about this. Or they're actually working on something that they want to present to you. But they're doing it in secret. What's the uh, Empress? The Page of Wands? Yep. They've gotten confirmation that you are their Empress or you're their Emperor or whoever. It's like you're their match. They're paying attention to like the details there's something about you, like, they're they're paying attention to you really closely. Like, they're watching you because they can't get you out of their mind. It's like they know that that's the reason. They can't stop thinking about you. What's the Page of Wands with this Empress? Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah, but they haven't taken any action or, like... Their inconsistency is the reason. Yeah, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Reverse. Like, something about the way that they approached you. Either they haven't made this offer yet and they haven't said anything yet. Or it's like the way that they approached you, they know it was very inconsistent. And it confirmed to them who you truly are, that you're a cut above the rest. Like... I, I don't know the logic. I don't understand the logic, y'all. But it's like somebody treated you like maybe giving you the bare minimum or less than what you deserve. They tried to act calm with you like you weren't the person who they were thinking about all the time. Like you weren't running through their mind. Because this is the type of person who would say, you must be out of breath because you've been running through my mind. That's how this person feels. You've been like living in their mind. Child, rent free. They're not even charging you no, no room and board. You just in there. And I feel like this is, ooh, this is what they don't want you to know. And I feel like they treated you less than what you deserved. But the fact that you didn't accept that confirmed to them who you are. What's this Knight of Cups? But why does it have to take all that? Page of Swords. See what I'm saying? They're definitely watching. They're really thinking about these feelings. Thinking about what they want. You might have them blocked. They're trying to figure out how to way how, how to way. They're trying to figure out a way to like get you to unblock them or to express themselves. To get you to let your guard down with them. Page of Swords, Knight of Cups. 
Knight of Cups. So basically what I said, they're just thinking about feelings all the time and what they want, how to change the situation. They want to shift this. They want to get what they want and they want to shift whatever block that you have on this person. What's the seven of swords? Whatever block that you have on them. What's the seven of swords? Ooh, the world. Like, it looks like a situation is over, but they're... Ooh, this person may be a little annoying. Because I, I thought it was an ant on my desk for a second, but it was the reflection of the card in the other card. It creeped me out for a minute. Something about bugs or pests. This person may be a little pesky or I don't know. They're trying to spy maybe like a bug. I don't think they would tap your phone. That That's a little extreme. But I feel like they are like eavesdropping in a way. Like maybe they're spiritually eavesdropping, trying to like, with the moon and the magician, they could definitely be trying to figure out like how you feel about them in a manipulative way. Somehow, either maybe they're asking other people about you, inquiring about, about you, or maybe they're asking people how you think that they are, or I don't know. It's like, they're asking other people about you, how you feel about them, what people think that you think about them, or they're maybe trying to get information from people who, you know, but it's like, they're trying to spy. It feels it feels invasive. They're trying to figure out if you're giving to someone new or if you met someone new since y'all ended communication or since you blocked them or whatever. They, they just, it's like they're always trying to figure out what are you hiding? What are you hiding? It stresses them out that they don't know. With this high priestess, it's mysterious or you're mysterious and it stresses them out that they don't know what you're doing. What's the world? The three of swords. Yeah, they're disappointed about this ending for sure. And they're trying to figure out a way to get what they want. Five of swords, queen of cups. They may even be trying to get revenge. For some of you, this could be a person who's angry. Some of you, this is somebody who's petty and angry and they're trying to figure out a way to hold you back because they're upset that you don't want them. For some of you, this is a person who's trying to figure out who you're talking to, dealing with, because they want to try to win you back. All they do all day is think about feelings and emotions, but they're inconsistent with their actions. They're unreliable. They may be promiscuous or they just don't take any action at all. They're not on your level because this Empress card came out before with the Page of Cups. We've seen the Page of Cups several times. We have the Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Page of Swords again, the Knight of Cups twice, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. We got two Pages of Swords, two Knight of Cups, and we saw the Page of Cups several times with this Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. It's like, I don't think this person is on your level and I feel like they know it. I do feel like for some of you, I'm definitely picking up on a person now who is really trying to like create blockages in your life and they're trying to act like, you know, they're doing so much work to, to improve themselves, but really you're the one doing the work because I feel like they're jealous of all of the self-improvement that you've done in your own life since you've been away from them. And I feel like they could be trying to manipulate your emotions, but you see through it like intuitively. That's why it's on the surface. And it's because they're so like the way that they handle situations, if they're grown, they act like a teenager. They, they handle their emotions like a teenager or a child deep. So this could be somebody shallow. It says our date was anything but ordinary. It was intense. It was deep. It was meaningful. So it may not have been that meaningful to you. Okay. What else? Does the collective need to know about this person in it to win it in reverse? Dang, I'm never giving you up. I'm never, ever leaving your side. You are where I want to be. So this person is acting like they didn't really care. Like they didn't really want to be with you. Like it wasn't that serious, but child, they are lying. Okay. I felt that from the jump. 
they definitely want to get you back, but they probably know they can't get you back. So they may be trying to sabotage you because they know you're not going to be with them. Cancellation. I'm sorry, but I have to take a rain check. Second date. I want to get to know you better. Would you like to go on a second date? I just feel like this person may be trying to sabotage your dating life or they may be trying to sabotage your work life. What else does the collective need to know when it comes to this person? Text call. I love our banter over the phone. So either they acted like they didn't care that much when they really did. Or because you won't take them back, they're trying to get revenge while still acting like they don't care as much as they do. Okay. Cancellation at the bottom again. So there's a phone or there's a phone call or a text that's not going through. So you may have this person blocked. Surprise. I want to surprise you. You will not see it coming. So they're going to surprise you and call you or text you maybe from another number. Like be expecting my call. They're going to reach out to you from another number or from an unknown number, possibly. Because it's like every time they call you, the call gets canceled. So it feels like it's automatically getting canceled because they're blocked. Interesting. What's this deep in reverse? What's deep in reverse? The Hierophant reverse. Yeah, they acted non-committal. They acted like they didn't want a committed relationship. And they lied. This person lied. King of Pentacles. Because look at their committed face ass. They want commitment, but they act like they didn't. Okay. What's in it to win it? Reversed. Strength card. Yep. They were holding back because you, they probably were holding back because they felt like you were holding back, but I don't think you were holding back. I just think, I don't know. I just feel like you guys may have more of a handle on your emotions than they do. Cause it feels like you're more mature. The sun card, Leo energy, um, and the five of pinnacles. Yeah, I feel like this is them trying. It's like they're realizing that the warmth has gone away. Sun is warmth. Five of Pentacles is like coldness. Uh, you know, cold shoulder, freezing, going from hot to cold. So maybe they were acting hot and cold with you and holding back their emotions like they didn't want to be with you. And I also feel like they're trying to control themselves because they feel insecure about the fact that now they may be blocked or now you may be isolating yourself from them. They're trying to act like they're happy alone or they're happy being single. They're not. I'm just saying. They shouldn't have been acting hot and cold if that's what they were doing. What's text call? What's text call? Queen of Swords. Yeah. You're going to be like, what is this number? I feel like they're going to call from a random number, an unknown number, or private. The Star card and the Two of Wands. They're hoping that you're going to answer because you may not know the number. And you're going to be like, hello, who is this? <laughs> who is this? That's what I'm hearing. Or the call may just be blocked because they're blocked. Wow, what else does the collective need to know when it comes to this situation? Man crying, cutting ties. Ooh. They came out together. There's no going back. Better off alone. Make a clean break. That's what they're trying to tell themselves, but they're in these emotions. They can't control these emotions. You cut ties with this person, now they're crying. Look, because their ego got bruised. You bruised their ego cocky it's all about them stress for your attention you're the real badass right and perfect not perfection bitch i said it it says protection guarding your heart wait before dating again coming out of your out of your shell so this person sees you as perfect they see you as some type of like perfect person or some type of like idealistic individual okay 
What's this man crying? Six of Pentacles. What's the Six of Pentacles with man crying? Yeah, it feels hopeless. Yep. Unlucky, hopeless. Because they, it's like, oh, it's like they just, maybe they were breadcrumbing you, but it also feels like they just didn't gauge the situation properly. Like, they didn't look at the situation. They feel hopeless. They feel like they can't change it. But they, you know, they're not healed either. So that's why they're kind of feeling stuck in life. That's why they feel like they need to heal and work on themselves because they feel stuck. They're realizing that the way that they handled the situation caused you to want to cut ties with them. Well, 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 you guys. We're going to see any other hidden feelings or emotions that this person has, spirit, towards the collective. Any other hidden feelings or emotions? Any other hidden feelings or emotions that this person has towards the collective? Indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. So they're definitely being indecisive. What else is this person's hidden feelings? They're reminiscing. They don't want to, though. I miss our inside jokes. Yep. There's an inside joke that you guys have about something that only you guys know. And they don't want to think about it, but they do. Chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. Missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. Yep. That's why they can't get it off their mind. Oh, wow. And I just heard Alicia Keys when that box fell down. I keep on falling. And out of love with you. Sometimes I love you. Sometimes you make me blue. That's what I just heard. Indecisive. Because they don't want to think about you because it brings up the mistakes that they made. Look, I wish I could right my wrong. What else does the collective need to know about this person? Yep, there go they came out. Missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have, period. Runner. And then we saw Chaser. I don't want to run anymore. <laughs> Wow. So you could definitely be the person who was kind of chasing them and you didn't want to chase anymore. Now this person doesn't want to run anymore. Maybe they don't want to chase people anymore, chase what they want anymore. They it just it's a runner chaser dynamic, period. Disagreements. I wish you understood how I feel. Wow. So they want you to understand why they're running. But I don't think that they actually communicated it with you. So it's like, maybe that's why they want to call you to let you know, like, why they chose to do what they did. But they're, but they're lying about their feelings because they're like, we need to let each other go. They're trying to act all big and bad about it. Like, they don't have these emotions when they know the only person who they want to be with is you. Maybe you've already made it clear that you don't want to be with this person. But for some of you, I feel like this is somebody who... I don't know. I, I'm not sure exactly who it is. Take it how it resonates. But some of you, it may be someone who you actually do want to be with. Okay. This says transformation. So continue to embrace the transformation. You are evolving, you guys. Okay. And if you felt like you had to cut ties with this person, you can't be responsible for their emotions. Because I don't even think they're fully responsible or taking accountability for their emotions. So you can only focus on yourself and what you need to do because I feel like this was a form of you protecting yourself against somebody who wasn't being true. Yep. And by the time this person sees you again, you will have transformed or something is going to change drastically in your life. What's the overall advice for the collective when it comes to these messages? Trust yourself. Yeah. So whatever it is going on with you, Trust your decisions. Trust what it is that you're doing. Trust where spirit is guiding you. Yeah. And you are royalty. You deserve to be treated as such. So because you know the way that you're supposed to be treated, trust that you made the right decision. Yep. And creation because there's something happening. 
you're coming together with a higher version of yourself as you continue to transform and evolve. And I feel like you got some type of warning or red flag from this person that you needed to move on because things weren't coming together in a seamless way. Like it was forced or it was something that you just felt like wasn't right. And that's why spirit is saying you made the right choice. I feel like you deserve something more than what they were giving you. And you knew that. So you decided to make your decision. And I feel like it was the right choice. You're creating something really beautiful. And that's what spirit wants you to focus on is what you see in terms of your life. Cause this could just be you creating the life that you want. It could be you creating a product. It could be you creating a business. It could be you creating a career, cultivating a home, but whatever it is, they want you to focus on that. Okay. So I hope that helped you guys. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, put the purple hearts or any of your favorite color hearts in the comments. You guys engage with the video. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you want to donate or contribute financially, please use the PayPal or Zelle information below. I'm getting a phone call. Okay, you guys, so you may definitely get a phone call. Also, if you want to book a reading, they are 5% off. The code is below. And that's it. That's all. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.